Hello everyone, so I was asked by a friend to open up this Jurassic Park, the T-Rex Dr. Sattler set. So let's see what's inside the box. Let's be honest, people are gonna wanna see this guy. So we have the rule book as usual, flicks through and it has the, uh, the explanation just as normal, but then the insight tokens, which is Doc Dr. Sattler's special. And it also has the information about large fighters and the fact that this T-Rex can take up two spaces at once. So you've got a board, it is not double-sided. Uh, it just has uh, sort of the island uh, and sort of the uh, T-Rex paddock. And then this is the actual T-Rex paddock map. It's quite a nice one. It doesn't really have any special features. I did particularly like the Raptor Park having arrows that only could go one way, um, which does not apply to large figures. But again, it's got sort of quite an iconic location with the, the Jeep and such. So that's quite, it's a nice map, but it doesn't sort of blow me away. Then you have what's in the actual box itself. Let's have a look straight away at the T-Rex Mini because that's what most people are going to be interested in. And wow, look at this thing. This is absolutely insane. Let me try and focus the camera on it. It is very, very nice. Uh, it is absolutely huge compared to everything else. So let's try and get a bit of a size comparison. Dr. Sattler is maybe a slightly skinnier person than the rest of the unmatched heroes, but still is kind of the same height. So this T-Rex is absolutely massive. Uh, and if we put it on the board, you can see how it does actually go across more than one space. Although there are times when it doesn't quite, and this is when the rules for large figures come in. The base here, as you can maybe just see, um, let's try and zoom in uh, or focus. It doesn't reach this second one, which means it's not in the space. Whereas here, it is in the second space. So absolutely lovely miniature, absolutely loving this one. I mean, it's just, it's an awesome, awesome mini uh, because it's so big. Let's have a look at what else is in the box. You've got with the large, <laughs> the large T-Rex, you've got the large health dial and uh, this goes all the way up to 27. Uh, so he has a lot of health. You've got the dials for Dr. Sattler and, uh, and Dr. Malcolm, um, who died last time we played. You've got too many insight tokens. So you only use five, but there are six actually included in the box, which is quite nice. It's nice that there's sort of extras. You've got the little Dr. Malcolm token. Let's try and zoom in, make sure it focuses on that. That's quite a cool token. Um, not the special uh, one, unfortunately, that you can get in the US. And then you've got the decks. You've got the card and yeah, then you've got like the obviously very much Jurassic Park themed and uh, all that sort of goodness. It is very much um, a properly done set. It's not sort of half-assed in terms of the artwork. It looks like the characters. It feels like it's from the location uh, and stuff like that. And then you've got the T-Rex deck. Again, uh, their card and then some absolutely massive big hitting cards. Terrifying roar where they can't, someone can't leave their space. This is a great one to defend with because then they can't run away from you, uh, which is nice. Um, you know, the T-Rex destroying some stuff, the footprint with the, the vibrations in, I think it's a really nice deck. Um, like I said, some big hits, some interesting cards in here about movement and stuff like that. Uh, a, a momentous shifts, which are in quite a few of the decks. But again, the, again, coming from the sort of the scenes in the films, that's a really nice deck. And that is what is in the Jurassic Park 2 set, uh, this T-Rex and Dr. Sattler set.